of Care in the Utah Department of Health. Almost 824 on this Friday. For 25 years, the Intermountain Medical Center Artificial Heart Program has been using its technology to save lives. It is incredible what they're doing now for folks waiting for a heart transplant. It's, a, it's amazing. I just never in my life believed I would be in this situation. Olaf Questright has dealt with various heart problems for nearly 10 years. In 2010, I ran the Bear 100. And the day after, as I was unloading the car, I had a heart arrhythmia. Earlier this year, he was sent to the heart failure team at Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. He, he had basically a, a genetic problem, right ventricular dysplasia, that, um, that made his right heart fail. To hear that my heart was in such bad shape that I needed a new heart, it was, there were tears. Cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. William T. Kane says the best option for Olaf was to get a total artificial heart. May 23rd, I got the artificial heart. Because it was his right side and because of the rhythm problems, that was two reasons why a total artificial heart was the best thing for him. A total artificial heart is a mechanical device that completely replaces a patient's own heart while they wait for a transplant. It's a miracle. I think to myself every day I'd be dead if it weren't for this. While it hasn't been an easy process, Olaf is currently working on getting stronger as he waits for a donor heart. I have physical therapy a couple times a day, yeah, and I get to go outside and walk. The goal is to make the recovery process easier on Olaf after the transplant. They feel like the transplant side of it is a much easier operation because they're in such better shape when they go into it. See, isn't that amazing? <laughs> For more information about artificial hearts and the program at Intermountain, you can go to our website, KUTV.com. Two News Time, 825, a scary story.